Hey everyone, it's pretty much the last of the season. Supposed to get a big uh, cold push uh, a couple days here in Ohio. And snow and zero and 50 mile an hour winds. So the last of the green grass for a week or two at least. So I thought I'd uh, strike up a little conversation here about my, uh, specifically about my steel B BR800X trying to get a trying to get more of a not where I tell you so much what I think although I have done that in videos and I may uh, do a little bit in this but trying to get a uh, conversation going with you guys where you share your opinions and reviews and uh, bad or good about this let's keep it about the steel here I've made several videos about the echo and steel and both of them and all of my blowers but We'll keep this one about the steel. Now, I like it. I think it's, uh, the steels are very comfortable. The straps, uh, the way the chute moves back and forth. Uh, I think the fit and fish on the steel is as good as any blower I've ever used. Of course, uh, everybody's uh, you know focused on the power and it's very powerful. It's a very good blower and I wouldn't hesitate to buy one. Um, in that regard, but if you want the most powerful, there's no doubt that the Echo 9010 is more powerful. But this uh, will go out and still get the job done. I think the thing I dislike about the steel uh, units more than anything else is the uh, having to adjust the valves and uh, dealing with that end of it. I know it takes only 10 or 15 minutes to do, but it's still of a hassle. Um, to have to do it and uh, things like that. So I prefer the old days where you didn't have have that. And it was a two stroke, had high and low screw. You made a couple adjustments and and you're off to the races and didn't ever have to fiddle. And nowadays the machines are very temperamental and something's always going down and you can't adjust it or the carburetors are junk or something so i've been at this too long i suppose 41 years so but that's kind of my two cents on the steel i like it i think the fit and finish is great i think the power is very good uh, not so crazy about the valves um think it's a good unit i would not hesitate to buy another one but i'm always you know again this i want to keep this where Hopefully we can give some feedback to each other and, uh, and also maybe still might check it out. And uh, about that at Centerville Gravely here in Ohio. I buy all, all the different places. but So I just want to strike up a conversation. What do you think about the straps on it? What do you think about the power of the steel? What do you like uh, about the tubing or don't like? Uh, uh, the, uh, the weight of it, the noise of it, um, anything you want to talk about, let's talk about the steel BR800X uh, and stuff. I've had the 600, the uh, 700, I've had uh, most of the steel blowers that they've made over the last 40 years, so uh, I think the still 600 uh, BR 600 is still a great uh, blower and stuff. So especially for the homeowner, uh, it's uh, got a good price, very durable. Uh, I believe it's possibly one of the uh, most uh, lasting or reliable steel blowers I've ever used. So I find it more reliable and less finicky and less maintenance and stuff. Uh, on that one versus these, so. And I was speaking to a dealer about that, and he also had agreed. He thought if uh, he used to recommend one of the blowers, I believe they still make that. So it's a great little unit. But if you want Steel's best blower today, the 800X is the king of their line. So, all right, um, we'll keep it short today, just uh, trying to get some conversation and. Uh, and do something a little different because a lot of people uh, give a review but i'm trying to promote some talk and sharing some insight of uh, your experience that's what i'm really wanting to know is what you think and uh out there and uh, any tips and tricks or problems you've had or things you like or don't like uh trying to encourage that and promote that so 
So I want these videos to be more of not just me t telling you what I think, but uh, that we're sharing information on it and, and people are learning and have some other opinions besides just mine. So appreciate it. Happy holidays to everybody and I uh, hope everybody's doing good and has a great, uh, great rest of the year. Thanks for watching.